Uh, welcome to the video. We're going to try out a little bit here, uh, a little bit of Super Auto Pets. Um, new weekly. I think Ladybug is fantastic in this weekly. I've, I've played a couple times on my phone so far. I've found some success. I played a little bit on stream yesterday. Um, there was some success and some failure there. But overall, it's a fun weekly. Um, let's be a rude underdog. Kind of like a sore loser, but you might win. <clears throat> nice win. Uh, give me a ladybug here. Um, honey would be good as well, but let's try... Let's freeze the honey. I'm not sold on a horse. I think this build probably works better with an opossum. Um, and of course, for our ladybugs to work, we've basically just got to keep buying food, so let's do that. Um, I was outside today. We've currently got... Um, We've currently got uh, my partner's family dog, uh, her parents' dog over, little dog sitting while they're away, and uh, and he's not very well toilet trained, so we've, we're trying to figure out whether it's him or our dog who's currently doing poos in the bathroom. So I was outside and there was a big poo right as I was sweeping the yard. Um, I thought at least, at least this was outside. Um, give me a rat. Um, I mean, I could give meat to a rat. I don't love it, but it's not bad. Um, give me a... We're going to take a level up on the ladybug anyway, so give it to me this way. And then I'll take meat on the rat. It's just got good stats, so like 5 health is pretty good. I just realised... My ant is going to get killed by what this spits out. That's a bit stupid, isn't it? Never mind. We'll win with the honey. Very nice. Yeah, the dog's, dog is called Rocky. He's a little Pekingese. He's not a very smart little dog, but he's, he's a good boy when he's over here. Um, pineapple would be fantastic for that, because then I can get my ladybug to 7 HP. This rat is starting to run out of utility, so possibly thinking about an opossum. I'm not sold on a level 3 ladybug, can't really see the point of that, so let's roll. Um, do I try to level... Do I go for the levels? I think this team's okay because of the rat still. We're going to sacrifice the, the bonus from the ladybug. The, the ladybug here, the buff, sorry. And we're going to sacrifice that for this turn. That's painful. We basically buff their dog. This is a very well-built team. I have to give props where they're due. Um... Wasp, I've seen some really good success with the wasp this week, mainly because you've got melon. Um, I always do like a clownfish, but there's no levels obviously available. Let's do it this way. We'll roll past the wasp this time. Give me garlic on the ladybug. Um, I'd be willing to sell an ant for a level here. I'm not willing to sell a dolphin for a level though. I think next time we probably... Let's get ahead of the game here. This round, not looking so favourable anyway. Give me a second ant. We'll combine them next turn we'll, with the clownfish out. In fact, the clownfish won't be able to be out, so we'll just leave it and we'll take the leveled up pet. Yeah, uh, Rocky's a little Pekingese. He's um, he's a very well-mannered little dog, but he, he, it's hard to tell whether he's 
recalcitrant or he's just not the brightest dog because he never comes when he's called and he doesn't know his name very well. But um, he's a good. He's certainly cute. Oh, give me this. Penguin. I mean, pe early penguin is great. Almost no matter what. Baboon will buff the dolphin for now. Problem is, like, I'm making my ant and my ladybug kind of stick here, and that's kind of not the way this wants to go. Um, I don't see the ladybug long term. This isn't bad, per se. Maybe on the penguin. Freeze that. That's definitely interesting. I would much rather take this. And then I think we roll. Um, garlic. Interesting, maybe. Don't really like this order anymore. Let's do it this way. Um, none of these... I mean, all these things would be good with buffs, but nothing really that synergizes that well. We will probably sell the ant next turn when we get the rat, so give me a baboon frozen. Um, I don't know, I don't feel like this one's particularly going anywhere, but who knows. This is a pretty good ladybug. Always good to catch a Doberman stoat team before they cash those in. We've got no future compared to them, but we have the present. Um, Microbe doesn't do anything for me here. I'm struggling to see where Microbe really fits in. I think it fits in possibly if you have summons and it's later. But I can't see it being that relevant early. Unless maybe you have like a lot of summons already as well. Feel free to let me know if that's wrong. Um, or if you disagree, I guess is how I would prefer it phrased. Uh, let's give me... Do I invest in double penguin here? I'm kind of unsure. This is going to buff my penguin, but it's really not that important to buff the penguin. So let's do it this way. I know I just spent that gold on the baboon, and it basically did nothing for me. In fact, it did nothing for me. Um, I can't see a dolphin being around long term, so let's roll. We're kind of looking for something that might be worth investing in. Give me another penguin. Thank you very much. We'll take that level up. And we do want to keep buying foods, but we're kind of waiting to see a pair at this point. I think this uh, application with dog is a very strong application, to be honest. And we'll see why here. The problem is dog will probably fall off, I'm guessing. Especially to snipes. Um... Give me the level now. I know it's early, but I would just prefer it. Nyala. Okay. I definitely think we could run a Nyala here. That would be worth investing, particularly when we get Penguin. Um, so start scaling it. Down the track. I, again, I can't see Ladybug really being that relevant. The pair is what I was after. Do I pair Rat or do I pair Ladybug? Um, I'm a little bit worried about rats in the long term against some of the scaling teams, like with, um, uh, I guess, I guess like some of the summon teams, I should say, not the scaling teams. We'll, we'll do a bit of a pivot off that in the future, I think. It might just make itself invaluable though, who knows, just with all these penguin buffs. A soul for a soul. I accept this trade, humbly. We trade there and we take the win. Nice. Five trophies. I think this is probably going somewhere. Um, creatures I would have loved to see on level up, probably ahead of Nyala, would have been all of these. But if we get the um, if we get the Nurse Shark, this team could pop. Um, it's not really that it's not really the time for the rooster, is it? Give me 
health, maybe? Mm. I think I would roll. Chocolate on the Nyala. Oh, Nurse Shark. Fantastic. That takes the place of our sniper. And I think here Nurse Shark is just key. We can get a level 2 Nurse Shark um, buffing from the Penguin. We can afford to move up the rat. Doberman. Um, it, maybe if I in the future get a moose, but not for now. I would love to play fox, but... Um, I would love many things. I was playing a little bit of Nyala and uh, Nurse Shark last night, and it's quite a fun combo. By all means, you can snipe that one. We trade two for one there. Uh, that that maybe is the problem with having <laughs> that combo so far back is it doesn't actually do as much damage as it could let's roll I've, I feel like I've passed on about 10 ladybugs at this point give me health for snipes but I really would love a chocolate it also buffs the ladybug obviously give me that as well and we'll roll twice nothing doing I feel like the penguin's keeping us relevant for the moment, but the problem is it's also keeping the rat relevant, and I don't want the rat long term. That's why the health on the nurse shark was so critical there. The only problem is because it's this last creature now, is it not going to spawn? It's not going to matter. That's what's not going to happen. Yeah, it wouldn't have. So maybe we've got to start thinking about doing it this way instead. Um. Melon on the Nurse Shark would definitely hit. But we've been buffing it. Um, does this count as an attack? I don't think so. That's why I'm rolling, in case you're wondering later. Um, this feels good in general, but I would love to see... I think I'd love to see Lemon more for this guy. We got something ticking here. We got a look, the penguin level two early is obviously really strong. Just kind of allows us a little bit of flexibility. Interesting. We take a little one for one there and then trade with the dog. Nice. I like where this is going. Just a little run here quickly to test out the new setup. Um, should I take soft ice here? The attack kind of does something, but I think the level 2 nurse shark is really what we need. Penguin, you've got me intrigued. That's what I was after. Can't really afford to run the lioness here. I think I'm just going to take... I feel like melon on my rat probably makes more sense. I know I didn't want to commit to, to rat, but here we are. No shark starting to get the buff. Yeah, that that's kind of the problem now, is the rat is too good to get rid of at 8 wins. At least that's how I feel. You might disagree. Please, thank you. Rat, big rat boy is getting the job done, I will say that. And this guy can clear the last unit. Um, let's take this, and I think we probably just take foods at this point. I'm not that interested in a penguin. If I can get a pear, I'm more interested in a pear than a hot dog, I think. I'm not certain about that. I do have melon, so I probably shouldn't be certain about that. Let's give me another hot dog. The rat certainly has been integral, actually. <clears throat> A nice little wrinkle here. I should probably melon you now at this point. That's painful that it chunked through. But a 10 piece. Not bad. We might have time for one more quick one. I'll give it a roll. I've got to be out of here by fours. So I've got 10 minutes, so let's go fast. Give me this with this. It's a nice little combo. 
And I'll take a horse. No. I'll go back to the world. Give me another ladybug. I'll be the uh, the unwashed scallywag. Seems like something that a scallywag would be is unwashed. <clears throat> Headed out to the post office this afternoon. Rip. This could be a quick one. Not a lot of confidence there from me. Um, I'll take this. Now this is a bit strange. Let's put you at the back. We'll freeze you and we'll go for a honey. No honey. Um, do I want the groundhog or do I want the beaver? It feels like the beaver probably has a bit more utility. But we'll keep the groundhog frozen anyway and we'll, we'll play like that. I realise I should probably put this in front of the beaver as it has the most attack. Would have saved its life. And we'll take a draw. Um, we'll go with... Give me my beaver level. We'll move you forward. Um, I could try to basically cheese this with a peacock. Which I think I will do. Because time is uh, ticking. So give me a peacock which gets buffed in this way. In fact, I don't really know why I'm doing it like that. Let's do it this way. Buff, buff, buff. Roll. Sure, give me more beavers. Frigate bird. Do I really want the beavers? Uh, no. I probably don't. I probably want to pivot off it. That would have been a level 3. Pain. Click, 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 click. But the first unit is just a sacrificial offering, isn't it? I think this the peacock probably carries us for a little while here. Nice. Um, give me a frigate bird here. We'll put you in between. Don't love this, but it is what it is. Stow. Stow could go crazy later, but it's also too much effort. I'm kind of just trying to play a bit straight down the line here. Um, not sold on an ant, but it could be a level up for us. I am sold on a peacock. Do I sell my beaver at this point? Buy a second peacock and then combine. Um, we're going to do it anyway, so sure. Not what I was hoping would get buffed. That's my uh, call to come. <laughs> I've still got seven minutes. Uh, Peacock, can you do the job for us here, please, sir? It's not looking likely. The honey's gonna get us. I see you, I see you, that's fine. Uh, give me my peacock level, yes please. A worm. A worm could go absolutely crazy here. Let's do it this way. Let's go worm. And then... I've gotten a giraffe getting buffed by this. Could be worse. Yes please. Um, okay, let's do it this way. And then this way. The giraffe could be useful in the longer term. Absolute memes, I love it. Hmm. I appreciate the speed, the brevity of that round. <laughs> uh, give me a level 3 peacock for sure. In fact, we probably also want some scaling on this guy. Uh, frigate bird though. And we take the level next time. Give me the frigate bird. I realise we're not buffing the worm, but we're kind of going down the peacock train here anyway. The worm was an interesting option. I'm not giving up on it just yet, but I feel like it probably is headed that way. Garlic would go absolutely crazy right now. Unlucky. But who am I to want garlic? 
Uh, yes, let's swap you now. In fact, let's do that. In fact, let's do this. And then... Let's roll. Let's roll. Yes, thank you. Um, that will buff giraffe as well, or it will buff frigate bird. So let's keep all three of those frozen. We're gonna get here, we're gonna get here with scaling, for sure. If we're gonna get there. Still only got the two wins. Feeling like this, um, this line could go off though. And the level two frigate bird will be very nice, for sure. Uh, fantastic. Okay, give me... Give me my frigate bird level. Very interesting. Give me this. And then run it that way. And then give me the penguin for the moment. We'll maybe sell the frigate bird here for a... Eagle? Just because, why not? I'd love to run you, but it's just not making much sense right now. We know you're going to be around, so let's let's just keep buffing the giraffe. Oh, the eagle makes the lion not work. <laughs> All right, well, the eagle's not long for the world. We still managed to get the win. Um, sell me the eagle. Buy a porcupine. Uh, maybe we just leave it free for the moment. Give me a buff on the lion and this. We'll keep you frozen just in case. Give me a second penguin. Yes, please. And roll me once. Nope. Okay. Yeah, I understand it's 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 a bit of a brain dead way of going here. It's a little bit generic to go the scaling route with the peacock, but um, we got like three minutes. We gotta check through, through these rounds pretty quick. Moose, nope. We got a lion. Can't get me that time. Give me this. Give me this. Roll me. Give me garlic for my lion. In fact, unfreeze them. Because I, I want lemon instead. I could have, I realized I could have taken the penguin there. But um, I feel like the lion getting a level is more important. Taper at the back is a uh, yikes. Give me this. Unlucky. Pass. Um, that could be useful in the, in the future. Freeze me with that. Freeze me there. So at this point, I think we're going level two lion, and then we'll likely try to get the giraffe to buff three units. This, this feels like it's going to turn. We've got two minutes. Uh, give me this, give me this, give me that, and we're to the moon. This peacock is just going to take us there, I think. If I get melon for it, that's insanity. At this stage though, the lemon is doing absolutely fine. Looks like this is the path, this is the way. Uh, give me it this way. And I'll take that. And then we'll try to get another pet in here that makes a bit of sense. Give me that. I probably want melon on the line at this point, to be honest. And put it at the front. Because it's going to be 50 50. It's so sick watching that thing just chunk everything. Alright, one win. One win away. Give me this. Give me this. I can't take a second lion. Um, that seems a bit stupid. 
Give me this. Give me that. Let's go. I feel like 50-50 Lion 29-43 Pico just gets us there. And it will. If you've enjoyed this video, please let me know. Leave a comment. See you next time.